Welcome to the new movie thing show. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. In this show, we go see new movies in the theaters and then review them. And if you can't make it out to the theater this weekend, you can always go to netflix.com slash sourcefed and get a month of Netflix for free, my man. So this week, we're doing Paranormal Activity 4. For those who aren't familiar, Paranormal Activity 4 takes place five years after the events of Paranormal Activity 2. Basically, there's just a family who has a little boy who moves in across the street and then shit goes crazy. Shit goes crazy. So my quickie review for this movie would be go see it with a group of friends if you like getting spooked in the theater with your girl, you like cuddling up with the person you love or just laughing with your friends about how crazy ridiculous the jump scares are. Go see it. My quickie review is um, I hate scary movies like since the grudge and the ring I stopped watching them but I think this movie was great it was really jump scary I think I said I hate this movie about 12 times while I was being scared <laughs> my favorite moment of yours was at the first big jump scare I turn over to you and you're literally doing this it got uh, us. Yeah, but quick review, go see it. And like Steve said, take a date or take friends. And if you're scared of spooks, don't see it at all, don't you crazy person. All. The film was directed by Henry Juice and Ariel Shulman. They were both on Paranormal Activity 3, and then one of them also did Catfish. Mm -hmm. uh, but there aren't any other really big names in the movie. No, except for the girl, uh, Katie, who was in the first film and then cameoed in the second film. I mean, they're all just a blur to me. They're all kind of the same, so. Yeah. Now it's time for Love It. <gasps> or Hate It. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm not beating yeah. your heart. <laughs> <laughs> just like in the movie, that's what the demons do. Yeah. So my love it would be that it's just more of the same stuff. And now I know most of you are saying like, oh, it's more of the same. But my thing is they can just keep making these kinds of movies because they're just kind of a spectacle. You go with your friends, you go with your girlfriend, you go with your loved ones, and you just, you get spooked in the theater and it's kind of jumpy and scary. And I don't know. I think that the, that's a tradition with horror that has been going on for a very long time that I don't think should end. And my hate it would be all of the product placement in the movie. It was just mm -hmm. kind of distracting. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of like, especially with the connect, like there's oh. all this cool stuff in the commercial surrounding the connect excuse me yeah it was weird it was weird there was just products everywhere yeah but the thing with the connect was is like you see it in the commercials and you're like oh what are they gonna do with the connect and the connect is like literally in almost every scene in the movie <laughs> and at one point the girl's like what are you playing in there microsoft xbox 360 with with the connect and the elite version that's only 399 <laughs> like seriously yeah. it was that almost that bad my love it would be i love all the jump scares because they really do get you and they actually do a really good job with it and uh my hate it would probably be all the jump scares because they do a really good job with it all right final thoughts i like the movie even though i hate scares scary movies, so I mean that does say something for how good of an experience it was together. Steve and I are uh, pretty scaredy cats yeah. together. <laughs> In fact, we'll have to put up this photo of us. That is actually what we look like after, yeah. the, after the movie, pretty much. Yeah, so final thoughts, go see it with your friends. It is a ton of fun and you'll really enjoy it. And I give it three and a half penny apples out of five. Ooh. My final thoughts are, again, you guys can keep making these movies because they're just a spectacle. You go to the theater, you enjoy it with your friends. It's just, there's jump scares and cool stuff. It doesn't necessarily need to have a super engaging story, which none of these really do. It's all about just going to the theater and having a fun time during Halloween and getting scared. So I give the movie three out of five Ewok hugs because I just like this genre of movies. Not found footage, I'm talking just ghost movies in general. Bring them on. So that's it for this week's new movie thing show, guys. And why don't you let us know what your favorite scary movie is in the comments down below. Remember, if you can't make it to the theater this weekend, you can always go to netflix.com slash sourcefed to get a free month of instant streaming. Next week, we are seeing Cloud Atlas Oh my god, it looks awesome. Tom Hanks is this shit, and I love the Wachowskis. Let's make this movie awesome. I hope it's good. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and click this annotation to go to sourcefed.com to see everything we've ever done. I'm Meg Turner. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Yeah, the product placement was I know. so bad. It was ridiculous. Mm. Mm. It was just everywhere in the whole movie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>